how do you order a Nobel Procera bridge? Let's go through the process backwards. This is a, just a magnificent zirconia bridge here. And this is designed by our laboratory and then we have it uh, milled actually by, uh, by Nobel at their milling facility in uh, New Jersey. So let's work backwards. What are the records to achieve one of these cases? Um, what we recommend, there's, there's different ways of doing it, photogrammetry, uh, flasking, uh, traditional records. But what we recommend is, is doing what we call an iJig plus technique if you don't have photogrammetry. What that means is the doctor is going to take the prosthesis out of the mouth. They're going to put analogs on it, in this case MUA, and then direct to implant analogs, set them in stone. Right, so just imagine this is wet stone with the analogs are on the prosthesis. Set it in stone so you can still see the analogs, let it set. All right, so if you do this in the office, you have just created an analog model, very simply, okay? Now, with that, with that prosthesis still seated on the model, screw it down, make a putty flask over the top. In this case, the doctor used a dual laminate. It's totally optional. This was a, um, uh, just some putty on the inside, uh, a two-part putty material to make it hard, and then encompassed it with a different material. Usually this is just one. You know, you can buy it from, think of the name here in just a minute, but any, any lab putty will work just fine. So flask over the top, encapsulate it, and then when you remove it, you have the negative of the prosthesis, we have the teeth, the bite, we have a cocoon basically. And then when you unscrew this, you can take this and deliver this prosthesis back to the patient. Because at that point we have a model, teeth, bite, we have everything we need, okay? And uh, at that point, this is shipped to the laboratory, physically to the laboratory. That's how we have a verified model. And then while the patient's in the chair with the prosthesis out, Either, if you have an iOS scanner, scan the tissue and the MUAs and the implants only. No prosthesis, just scan the mouth. And that will give us the tissue. Even though these are direct to implant and these will be above the tissue, we can still align it. All right, so now we have the tissue, implant, teeth, bite, everything. And the prosthesis can get delivered back to the patient's mouth. They can go home. While they're still there, then you still you want to take an opposing model and you want to take a bite registration. In this case, a patient has a lower denture. Really could have just taken a PVS of the denture outside the mouth and a bite registration in the mouth, you know, obviously opposing the, opposing a denture, okay? Or in this case, a doctor seated the denture in stone, made a flask of it, returned the denture to the patient. We ended up... Um, creating or recreating the denture inside the flask so that we could mount the case with the bite. All right, so that's let's just a recap real quick of the records. An analog model that's made in the office with analogs ordered from the company, a putty flask over the top encapsulating the prosthesis, an opposing model or impression, or in this case, a flask, if we were making the doctor a new denture, then the flasking is a nice technique to do it. But in this case, I mean, in most cases, just an opposing model, uh, no flask, just an impression, and then of course a bite registration. All right, those are the records. It's called an iJig Plus, and there are printable how-tos on our website uh, to go step-by-step -step on how to make that. Now, what do we do? We design the prosthesis according to those records and we can go right to final or we can make a prototype. I believe in this case we went right to final. So that means this is gonna come back to the laboratory in this state, okay? And look back here, you can see this is direct to MUA and this is direct to implant, okay? Just like that. Now, the trick with the Nobel Procera is that these, there's no copings at the MUA level. This is direct to MUA, which is really nice. I mean, we really don't like copings anymore. So direct to MUA, and, and then there'll be an insert for the direct to implant sites. All right, so let me just show what those parts are. 
for the screws that for the screws for the uh, for the MUAs, they're they're normal Nobel screws. They're the uh, 301203 normal Nobel screw for for prosthetics, whether they're using a coping or not. All right, so no problem there. Uh, that's one and two. Okay, now direct to implant is a little bit different. That is going to be these little metal copings, these inserts. They're gold color. And let's take them out of the package here. I'll give you the part number. They come with the case, right? So you shouldn't have to buy them, but it's called it a metal adapter from Nobel 38483. So you take this out. And all it does is press fits into the zirconia site. It does not bond in, it does not cement in. So it just simply goes, make sure I get the right side up here. It'll just press fit inside of there. And then maybe it could use a little bit of adjustment, but I think just pressure and it'll go in. And then, and now you have an interface that goes to the implant. See that? So this goes into the implant now and then the screw still comes through and it contacts zirconia, just like on the other sides. So this has always been a little bit of a, a, a tricky part and that, that, that really a lot of people don't know about, and that is this little gold part that goes in. So when you get one of these cases, you'll get a screw for each site, direct to implant the gold coping, and then for the uh, direct to implant sites, it's gonna be a longer screw. That's the 37367. That's their part number for this longer screw. And that is a Nobel Grossera bridge. This is a prototype of it. And then that's the final. In this case, it's an FP2. Most of the time it's an FP3, you know, all, all tooth color, but doctor wanted a little bit of pink on this. So that is Nobel Grossera bridge records and design.